Welcome back guys, how you all doing? My name is Monx and this is my 100 subscriber special and there is a bug fish in the background. So, I didn't know what to do, uh, so I kind of thought I'd just do a uh, server tour of the Dinnercraft server since I have basically finished my season here. Uh, now some of you may recognize this but just here, this is actually the world spawn as uh, 7i redeveloped it too uh, and underneath here in fact I don't need to do that other button or not super cheesy we go in here we've got sheep for a sheep farm and then we've got iron and sugar cane down here and it's oh it's not not fully it was full I think someone spent some time and yeah and it all into iron blocks. It's, uh, it's a lot of iron blocks. Um, and we got the sugar cane there, which what I thought I would do with this is I pretty much go a lot of the places I've not shown sure myself on uh, on camera and some of the things that were done on the server. Now one of those places is is actually we can go over there actually. Um, it's actually this now at some point I don't remember what episode it was now we did build a chunk of this probably to about here of the tunnel and uh, we since built the rest of it so this is my portal here and that was where it was going to be that goes to chives and it kind of just continues all the way along here we got Sev Sev over there and Sev over there uh, but we'll get to those in due course. So this is the tunnel we built and it took quite a while to actually put it up. Um, yeah, it's kind of long. Uh, I think about 500 plus blocks overall. Obviously it's quite a few and yeah, different things. Um, but then we built these, these little side bits on. So this is Rins. So we've got mine, um, beach, Diana has their own specific one. And now you'll have seen the hub in some episodes. This was actually designed and built by Summer B, the owner of the server. Um, who unfortunately we don't see, or didn't see too much of um, after we joined. But it's actually a really, really nice uh, hub. These were intended to be like as to portals, I think, but obviously. And uh, they just end up being individual parts and branching off, but it's, it still works. And speaking of that, we're actually going to go off in this direction and have a look at some of the bases. Now, that was where Elita was going to uh, move in before he left. He never actually built anything there. And I don't know if this was his base. Was this his base? Oh, yeah, this was his base. So Alita was originally here, and now this has been built up since, been blown up. I don't remember what I said now. Wow, that uh, I did want, didn't want to load too well. So yeah, this is pretty much was left Alita's base. Is his flame saucer and the big of appreciation pyramid, which Nathan built after the cube was demolished, and. Um, Everything apart from that, including imbalances, start space, and Lisa's actual storage, which was it behind the waterfall? Oh, nope. don't actually know where it was, you know. Somewhere there's a giant hole, well, it might have been like covered up or something. Yeah, it's been covered up. No, nope. was this farm? I don't know. It was somewhere, it was a big big mess of a hole um but it was all part of the the storyline that the guys did um this place had a lot of potential uh it's unfortunate at least i got burnt out because the idea he had for this place did sound really good but it is what it is you know um it was his first time playing survival he's not really a builder he says that a lot but it's a shame 
And from there, since it's literally here, we'll move on to Dan's or Gabibo's. And at Gabibo, played an awful lot in the very early stage, and did a hell of a lot very quick. And now one of the things that he is extremely proud of is his insanely huge wheat field, which someone's harvested some of. Now this thing just goes on and on. I don't know what the, the official count is in the end. He was going for 100,000 wheat planted. I don't know if he achieved that or not. Uh, yeah, he uh, he got a lot, a lot of wheat planted. Uh, that was weird. Like then, uh, and we got this. Um, it's like it's, a, it's steampunk esque medieval combination fusion thing going on here. Um, it'd have been kind of cool to see a bit more of it. I know he planned to build loads of these islands around and didn't get around to it. I mean, because of the wheat field, but it'd have been nice to see it. But yeah, this is uh, the base Kabibo lived in. And from here, we are next actually going to go over to B, who moves halfway through his season and built this insane piston bolt. And he's got a hilarious video on this thing. The whole, yes. Um, honestly, I mean, you need to go and check it out. It's Summer B, um, and it is just a short about, about this thing, but it was hilarious. Uh, so let's jump over to B's base. So here we are, B moved into a jungle. And let's just quickly see. Yeah, B moved into this jungle and um, pretty much only set up his infrastructure before he got very busy with um, schoolwork and things like that. So he's got a sugar cane farm and a creep farm because he sold fireworks and then a, a lot of pandas. B really liked his pandas for Harley. Um, so yeah, not too much went off here. I don't know what his plans were for this place in the end. Um, but I know he did start off with like an oriental theme in his other base. Don't know how much of that's left. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, oh wow, this is going to be bad. That's where he got up to with, with his base. I'm going to get back to the hub and I'll catch up with you guys there. Now from the hub, um, this is, if we come out, I think it's, um, that's west. I, I, I don't know. We'll come out this way. <laughs> Whichever direction it is. Uh, let's have a look. South. Fair enough. Um, yeah, this happened before I joined. It was a competition for um, basically blocks for Vale because he planned this giant thing like a million blocks away. Um, and ended up coming back to his base here, which we will come back to momentarily. In fact, I think this is a tunnel which leads to his base. It's absolutely miles that way. Um, now, one of the people we never actually had a chance to interact with was Butter Jaffa, who built this Thanos inspired build um, from Endgame. And to be fair, pulled it off pretty well. Uh, he's got an iron farm over there because. Thanos style hut and all his bits and bobs in here. And yeah, that's pretty much what Butter Jeff I got up to while he was here, along with something else somewhere else, which I'm not sure where it is. Uh, we've then got um, the base Nathan moved into, which is through here. But before we go there, we've actually got Probably the biggest project I took on on the server while I was on here through this tunnel here. Now, this was originally started by both Troy, with Butter Jaffa, and Nathan. Yeah, and that's it, the Wither Skelly Farm. 
it's probably in the worst location it could have been in terms of a oh, wizard sky farm. I mean, none of the fortresses on this server are good. They're all in crimson biomes, crimson forests. Um, but I think in the end, this ended up being around 80,000 slabs. And you can see, oh, I thought I missed a spot then. I was gonna say, as you can see, I've missed a few spots. Still probably have. Um, now I did, I literally just counted out 128 each way and just slabbed um, from the AF, well, not AFK, but from the platform spot down there. And I actually did it from up there originally and then had to redo it down. Um, yeah, it goes all the way back and it's across. There we go, there's an empty one. It's across so many layers, it's levels and things, it's, it's not even funny. Uh, and then there's stuff underneath as well from um, ancient debris mining. So, yeah, it, it wasn't fun. It, it took a long time. Um, and these guys were a nightmare to get in as well. Uh, but it actually turned out to not be a bad farm in the end. It seems to have stopped working as well as it did since. Um, but it, it got a fair few um, with the skulls. I think there's like 20 or something left in here. <laughs> yeah, there's a few still, so um, I'll leave that. Right, back up to Nathan's base. Um, which is actually kind of underwater, but not, and again, like bees, it is pretty much just infrastructure. Um, he, again, he did move. Uh, I think as I joined, he did already pretty much move to this location. Um, cause he blew this all up here, which took him a while and came here when it loads through there we go so i know all storage is here here we go so all of his storage is in this but here we've got a you can waterlog maps did not know that um bunch of stuff is all Pretty well sorted out and he goes down below here we've got the little bits and bobs in the middle no idea what his plans were here either and i do know he went on to do this monstrosity um i'm not entirely sure what this was going to be yeah got an iron farm here interesting and something I'd say that's another iron farm actually maybe uh, villager breeders and he built some crazy chicken thing here yeah bunch of chickens down there um not a lot for a season's work to be fair but he uh he didn't play an awful lot i guess so you can't blame him on that one. Now, while we're over here, otherwise, I mean, while we're here, we can pop over to Vale's base, which is yeah, actually pretty damn nice. I like Vale's base. So, here we are in Vale's base. Which, oh, he starts building a wall. A very large looking. Wow. Okay, so he was bordering off his entire base. Did not know he'd started to do this. So this was Nathan's original base over here. Um. Again, just a bunch of farms. Um, no real base, but it. Yeah. Um. But Vale actually did do some. Some cool builds. We've got Victorian esque style gazebo, gazebo conservatory greenhouse type thing here, um, which I can only assume was storage at one point. Um, and I say at one point because 
of that, he built this huge kind of warehouse style build over here. Um, which I love how he did this. Like it, the the style of it is awesome. Um, just for all these bits and bobs. Now it probably makes sense to him as to what's where. I assume. Um, it just looks cool. It, it literally looks warehousey. It's brilliant. And I know all of this is stuff from Christmas that he bought in the shopping district as his gift to people. Um, he basically just bought everyone out. Which was really nice and really annoying at the same time. Because then, I, yeah, loads of hours I had to go into restocking. Now from here, we're actually going to go back down our way. Because we're going to go and visit Renever's base. Now, this was Rin's original starter base. Which, from up there, of the water looks absolutely fantastic. Um, not to say it doesn't look fantastic from here, because it does. It's amazing. Uh, I really love Rin's base, and Rin is awesome herself. Uh, you should totally go and check out Rin's channel. Um, she's doing some great stuff over on the Avatar Nations. Um, what was it? And I did not mean to leave then. There we go. Now this is based on, I believe, build that Rendo did. I can't remember exactly which one it is. And we've got like the, I can't remember what they're called, wash off chamber thing. And then up here, we have this amazing moon base style. Who's it? Lab thing. I don't know, words, but it's very cool. Uh, now, as I said, it's based off something rendered, I believe. Um, don't hold me to that. There's a good chance I'm wrong. Uh, and then she's got this lovely storage area here. Uh, now I can only guess that Bryn didn't finish what everything she had in mind here. But she got very busy with the Avatar New Nations thing and that took off for her. So I am not surprised at all uh, that she didn't get a chance to come back and finish everything here. Uh, but this is a horse we gifted for Rin when I can't I don't remember what it was for. Now I remember her saying she wanted a horse um, and she wasn't sure where to get one from. And I, I went to what is now the gaming district. Uh, before it was the gaming district, it was just an empty island, and uh, fetched her one. Because I'm a nice guy like that. But yeah, this one's Rin Space, and it's it's really awesome. Really like Rin Space. Now, if you're watching this, there is a good chance you have seen this one, um, and that's my base. So we're gonna completely skip that, and we're gonna head all the way down to the end of the tunnel which we can see how far along it is actually so here comes a 500 mark yep there it is so it's a little, little over 500 all the way to Sev and we're gonna head through this one here which is Mega Bub Fisher's base so Bub's base actually comes out into his storage room which again makes no sense whatsoever to me these will most likely indicate things but what's where um actually i'm not even sure it 100 percent makes sure makes sense to bub it probably does but it's designed to basically just look like a, a messy storage room um now this is this is something that is an amazing feat over the, over the course of the season because Bub joined when I did. Uh, so the season was already well underway when when that happened, and he found this island and he's terraformed the entire thing. You know, I think it was plains and a forest when he came, and um, 
yeah, this this wasn't here. The ravine down here was, but by no means was was this bit here. So he's dug out that, but then terraformed it into this wastelandy hot spring area with these um kind of basalty cliffs and don't think the trees are intentionally to stay that was just to absolify all the dirt that was placed on top um and again i know we didn't quite finish and that unfortunately was due to commitments with school and things like that but honestly it it looks awesome like we've seen seen it progress over the course of the season with many many variations of this map as it's gone along and it's been crazy to see it go from what it was to what it is now this next one is one i get lost in quite a bit that is chives base of wonders that, that's not wrong don't get me wrong this this is not the base this was where he started out and kind of just stayed to do his bits and bobs. The actual base, if I can find it, because as I said, I get lost here all the time. Can we find the base? It's over here somewhere. Tell you what. I'm going to find the entrance and um, I'll come back. Found it. Okay, so what Chimes basically had going here was like a, an abandoned mine. Um, at least on the surface. Now we've got like dinosaur fossils and things there. Now, under here, and most of this wasn't shown because it was pretty much the same thing on repeat and wouldn't have made the best content. I mean, I'm stuck in a spiderweb. There we go. Um, Chives actually manually dug out grass. Oh, it is grass. Um, three ravines. Now, this is his entrance. It has slime. This is the entrance to what was going to be a giant underground kingdom. And he did actually start to uh, to do, I don't know if it was spawn proofing or, or whatnot, but all this, for the most part, is manually dug out. I think there were some ravines did break into it. Most of this is manually done. Now, in the end, he did do a little bit of TNT. Um, was still like, it is just crazy. He he dug out so so much, and I would have loved to have seen what um what he got done here in the end. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, again, like others, most of us are students. Um, school but priority. And uh, he didn't get finished, but this would have been absolutely amazing in the end. Just to see what he did with this thing is unbelievable. How much patience and everything he had to dig out all of this uh, for what he envisioned. Absolutely amazing. So I think I mentioned this place earlier. This is our Halloween district, which um, Sev and Alito spent an awful lot of time um, creating the idea and, and coming up with what we're going to do here. We've got a, a skeletal horse race by Nathan and the build competition. So we had a 9x9 build area uh, to build in here and Sev did this horrendously scary thing. Yeah, let's just not look at that. It's, it's not pleasant. Um, there's a witch farm here which is now weird and underneath there's a whole amazing roller coaster which um Sev and Leto put together. 
uh, which if there is a world download for this place you will 100% need to come and check that out. And the Michael Myers song is awesome. But from there we've got Miss Murray who joined us for a short while um, and she didn't get an awful lot done in the time she was here but she did make a make a start on this humongous storage area um but unfortunately that's that's about as far as it got um and obviously massive tree farm area for her tree shop from there we are heading to flash rabbit and plaza's his area which is just um, before Bub's portal in the nether tunnel and they have been on the shortest amount of time um, so this is Flash's area with his giant carrot farm and Romanesque villa starter base they built uh, now I know he did start a spider farm underneath and I think there's other bits and bobs down there. Let's go have a look. He's down here somewhere. Let's just do this. There we go. Don't have the official entrance to this. So this is his storage area. And so we've got all this automated storage. I think he's the only person on the server who did a full automated storage. Then we've got a shulker loader and loader system. A melter which for some reason has a central one which just doesn't work um brewing system it did quite a bit of automation and uh, then kind of just left but yeah this is uh this is what flash rabbit did in his short time on the server now if we go from the portal over here we have Plasetti. Um Now I don't want to show too much here because Plaz is still playing. Now I know he's shown this off. This is his most recent thing. And um, this walkway here. Now he's got plans for what's going here. Not entirely sure what you'll have to uh, watch Flazetti's channel to know what goes up here. Uh, but this is actually his starter bit. So his whole thing when he came onto the server was to find the rabbit. Um, he was a big fan and wanted to get his autograph for something and built his house. Uh, to kind of hide away and spy on him. A nice and discreet giant tree house on top of a cliff. Yeah, very discreet there, Flaz. Uh, and we've got a little spoon moment camp down here. Uh, so a spoon moment gold just there. Sev's little tent that she set up, and then there's these nice yellow flazetti mustaches. Maybe once his mustache and once his beard just flipped upside down to look like a mustache. I wonder. Mustache Sev about that. Alright, on to am I still in Oh I am. Where's the portal? Anyone see the portal? Must be over this way. On to the, uh, the next base, which is probably one of the best on the server. And that would be Mr. Lee Please. Uh, and that is actually back this way. Now I've intentionally left this one um, to here because, well, because it is one of the best on the server. You, know, you may as well save the best to last. Um, none of the Smithies aren't good, but Lee's really is something like his progression as a builder has come on over the season and you can see it. Like he's done, tried stuff that he wouldn't have before and uh, he pulled it off really well. And it's really nice to see like that development through the course of however many episodes he did. So this is Lee over here. Unfortunately, never managed to get a tunnel over to him, but it's, it's not too far. This is... Okay. Space Bubble Challenge. This is Lee's base. 
and his guardian farm. So we started in this this building just here, and there's a whole story and lore around the base. Now this is a mushroom biome, um, or at least was for the most part. Uh, and there's a whole story about it being some giant forest that got infected and is converting into a mushroom biome or, some, or something like that. Um, he's, he's got a few really, really, really well done uh, episodes and things on like the spores, which he did a stop motion thing on and um, just everything going up like this giant mushroom. I so go up from being nothing to, to the, what it actually is now. And it is phenomenal, this place. And then there's this humongous tree here, which apparently doesn't fully load in. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's massive. And it's amazing. So organics isn't something Lee had done really before, before this. And then he's just pushed himself and pushed himself on this season just to create this amazing base, now, which is, you know, the entire thing is his base. And it's just outstanding. But the best way to look at it is actually at night. So here we go. Lee's base at night with shaders on. And it's just outstanding. I mean, the, the island has, has lent itself to him being able to play with light and stuff. He's done it so well. And it, it just looks phenomenal. I really do love Lee's base. It's amazing. This then leads us on to what is probably, at least in my opinion, the best base on the server. Uh, and that's his Severitas. Sev is terrified of the nether. So she decided to bring the the awesomeness of the nether to the safety of the overworld. And boy did she. We have these amazing four, nearly said three then, four kind of um, Victorian-esque style giant moosive houses um, which none are the same, not one is the same as each other. Uh, they're all different in some in small ways, some in you know, quite evident ways. This is the main one with the storage and things in. Uh, we've got the central tree, which has her starter base actually underneath, underground. Uh, and all her farms and things are down there. And then each one, I'm going to go into spectator here, just so I can go through the puzzle. Each building has a different use. Um, now, I believe this is going to be a museum of some variety for some bits and bobs. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then over here we have nothing, um, pretend that didn't happen. Then we have, as I said, the giant storage room. So we've got the super smelter here, which is World's Knight's design and copied from me doing it on uh, my base. So it's identical carbon copy of that uh, and her storage system, which is a manual one. And it's all labeled with micro blocks. So so spent ages collecting these Uptuva micro blocks, but she has some in these barrels over here. Look at all of these. That's amazing. Oh, <laughs> the Mark's Pog. And we've got the gas breaking out of here and uh, firing a giant fireball over to this over here. And you can't can't deny that this isn't probably the best base you've seen on this server. It's easily better than the mine. Very different, but it's still easily better. Sev did an amazing job on this, she really did.
and finally one of the places you've probably seen the most of across all the diners and most commonly is the shopping district here um, and it's a combination of everyone's designs and creativity and all sorts going on so we've got some of the early shops like the post office uh, helping hand um, one up was here originally we've got Sevco over there the spoon museum the town hall over there which we built uh, Miss Marie's unfinished tree shop the garden shop from Gabibo the rocket shop over there we've got the nether shop or what was intended to be the nether shop that Alito was building um, that Seven I made some adjustments to just to give a look more shape to things like the front and well basically just looking at it from, from quite a few if you look at any other side it's kind of bland um, then we've got the, the cliffs that I built just to generate a little bit more space in the shopping district because this area was mostly water just here and we've got the guardian shop the eye shop glass shop wool shop the wither shop um bible builder which sold nothing <laughs> uh the desert temple sand shop devs tnt blast chamber and various other shops we got this awesome little mushroom shop which a mushroom shop potion shop which sev not sev rimbill had names and uh, we got balanced pizzeria and as i said the spoon museum this is the most recent addition to the shopping district and finally someone built something on here which thank you um otherwise it was just a waste of time because I was asked to build this and they never got used other than the prison underneath. Um, yeah, we've got this nice big chunky plot of land just here. Yeah, that is the, the Dinnercraft server, guys. Minus my base because you've seen a bunch of it. But as I said, if B does a world download, you are more than welcome to check out anywhere on this server. Um, honestly, a lot more of it is more impressive in person. And you never know, some of it might give you ideas for your own builds or it might just be cool to see the actual build in person. We've got a sky rise tower here. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching guys. And again, thank you for the 100 subscribers. This has been a long chatty episode looking around the Dinnercraft server. But again, thank you very much. And ciao for now. Bye bye.